What's happening my curious bunch of health fanatics? Today we are going to look at sex drives and life expectancy. An interesting study published in the journal PLOS ONE infers that males with low libido are almost two times as likely to experience early mortality. This means if you are male and have no interest or low interest in sex, then you double your chances of early death. Scientists from Yamagata University observed more than 20,000 people, around 8,500 males and around 12,500 females in Japan for over 10 years to study the links between sexual interest and all-cause mortality, which also included conditions such as cardiovascular disease and cancer. It is common knowledge that sexual satisfaction is regarded as a benefit to psychological health and well-being in older groups, but the connection between sexual interest and longevity had not been directly researched. The participants of this study were requested to complete a sexual interest survey during their regular check-ins. Subjects that exhibited low sexual interest tended to be older, consumed more alcohol, had diabetes, did not laugh as much, exhibited forms of psychological discomfort, and tended to have lower education levels. Men in their 40s and above with low libido were almost twice as likely to die from cancer, and there was even an increase of up to 1.36 for them to die from heart disease. Interestingly, Males with lower sex drives also reported lacking ikigai, which is a Japanese word which equates to a life worth living. These males exhibited a lack of ikigai. Much of the data in this study is already corroborated by what we see in other studies, such as loneliness is a fast killer. Strong family groups or even song, uh, strong social groups seem to help with longevity. A meta-analysis called Association of Loneliness with All-Cause Mortality demonstrated that the effect of loneliness affected men's health more than females' health. So continuing with this Japanese study for, for low sex drive, researchers believe that males with lower sex drives actually had those lower sex drives due to bad lifestyle choices. So does this mean it could actually be the poor lifestyle contributing to early death and not a lack of sexual interest? Well, in this study, they did take into account variables such as obesity and smoking. And what we do know is that exercise and healthy living does boost testosterone levels, which raises a person's sex drive. So some of the lines here appear blurred and maybe things aren't as clear cut as we would like them to be. What we do know is that healthy eating habits, exercise, socializing with family and friends are super important. So for you males out there, and especially, and I'm especially talking to you males, if you are a bit of a hermit crab, go get that new lease on life today. And remember, with social and family groups, it's about adding positive energy. So steer clear of conversations around politics and other explosive topics, because you'll most likely give yourself more stress, which isn't good. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit. Smash that thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button, or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.